Unit 3, 6.1, random variables. So Unit 3 is probability distributions. 6.1 is discrete probability distributions. And then we get into Chapter 7, will be continuous. discrete probability distributions of a random variable. So it depends on the experiment, what the actual random variable is, or the problem. So for example, if you're rolling a die, the numbers one through six, each one of those are the random variables. What's the probability of each happening? So like I said, 6.1, discrete random variables. That means random variables who possible values, they can be listed, they can be put in a chart. For example, the number that comes up on the roll of a die or the number of siblings a randomly chosen person has. In chapter 7, there will be continuous random variables. There will be heights or measurements, and that's when we get into the normal distribution. For now, they are discrete. They can be listed. So the first thing we're going to be asked is if something is a true probability distribution. Is it or isn't it? A probability distribution for a discrete random variable, each possible value is listed. So all of the, pop, the probability has to be listed in the distribution. Probability of each variable has to be less than one whole or greater than zero and it has to add up to one whole. You cannot have a probability that's below zero or negative. You can't have a probability that's above one. And the total sum of all the probabilities on your distribution has to add up sum to one whole. 100% of the probabilities must be displayed. So let's decide if each of the following is or isn't a true probability distribution. So these are the probabilities of my random variable x. My random variable x in this distribution is one, two, three, or four. Is this a true probability distribution? No, you can't have a negative probability. Is this next distribution a probability distribution? My random variable x's are 10, 20, 30, 40. They're listed, discrete. You cannot have a probability greater than 1. This is not a probability distribution. It can't be larger than a whole. 100% of the information has to be listed here. That's already over 100%, not a probability distribution. Here, is this a probability distribution of my random variable x, which is negative 1, negative 0.5, 0, 0.5, and 1? They are negatives and decimal, but that doesn't matter. They can be listed. They're still discrete. So there's no probabilities here that are negative or greater than 1. Then we have to see, do the probabilities add up to 100%? Do I have 100% of the information listed in this distribution? So the probabilities do add up to one whole, so yes. This is a probability distribution. Next, you could be given a probability distribution and asked questions about the probabilities. For example, four patients have made appointments to have their blood pressure checked at a clinic. Let X, random variable X, be the number of them who have high blood pressure. None of them, one, two, three, or all four of them. Based on the data from the National Health and Examination Survey, the probability of the random variable X is as followed. This is a probability distribution. It all adds up to 1. So 100% of the information is 
distributed in this table. So let's answer some questions. What's the probability that one of the patients would have high blood pressure? So remember the notation P of 1 is saying, what is the probability that one patient would have high blood pressure? And that's listed right there. It's 0.42 or 42%. What's the probability that two or three patients would have high blood pressure? So either two or three. So that's going to be 35%, point three five. What's the probability that more than one patient has high blood pressure? So we have to see who do we rule out for that. If it has to be more than one, we can't include one and we cannot include zero. So we're going to be adding all three of these. So two, three, and four patients having high blood pressure. Oops, I put a four. So 28, 7, and 2, which is 2 more than the last one, so 37%. What's the probability that at least one? So who does that not include? At least one means 1, 2, 3, or 4, just not none of them. So I'm going to add them all except for zero. And that adds up to 79, 79%, or I could have done one whole minus zero, 